Kevin Given, one Lower Valley resident is raising concerns about the lack of sidewalks in her neighborhood. Well, tonight we're hearing residents' concerns and why the city says it can't do much about it. Kids that want to come to the park here, they have to uh, just always be on the lookout for traffic because the cars don't respect the pedestrians. Stacy Norman lives along Pendale near Saragossa. She says she's been working to get sidewalks in her neighborhood. I have a little bit of free time. I can make the effort to jump through the hoops, to go online and fill requests out through an app on my phone and do all of these things. But a lot of my neighbors can't or they don't know how. And so I'm just one person. I brought her concerns to the city of El Paso. Unfortunately, our budget for our existing programs do not accommodate for us to do construction that large of a basis through, through these programs. The city sidewalk gap project works to connect areas that might be missing a panel or two, but the city says because of the extent of the project in this neighborhood, it's not something they're able to work on right now. You know, a lot of these requests are also unfunded. We have very limited funding as far as doing the the sidewalk gap projects. Garcia says there are other struggles the street and maintenance department is dealing with right now. We don't have an actual contractor working on them, but we do take those requests in and can and complete the evaluation and determine what's the best way uh, to move forward. And the city says it's been like that for a year. We've had some issues about being, getting contractors to respond to it and um, just getting an overall people to, to come and bid out. Um, and we've had issues with past contractors. We've, issues where they don't complete the projects timely or they are not performing work up to the standard that we would expect. Okay, so it means like for a year, sidewalks have just, um, I guess, not really had a lot of work done? Recently, um, no, we haven't really. Um, so we've kind of tried to do some stop gaps, you know, so we don't ignore what's going on in the city. Okay, so what has been the impact of not having a contractor for a year? I think for the time we've not had it for, you know, we were getting some of the requests in and we're not maybe able to mobilize as fast and as efficiently as we would like. I mean, using other contractors to kind of have a stopgap is kind of just trying to get through that day or get through these requests that we really feel are, are important to get to. Um, so it does hinder us. Well, the city is working on getting a contractor and looking at a solicitation for a contractor in the next three weeks.